Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I have done a cooking video for you guys and you guys keep asking me to do one. So I am doing a cook for Bay with Devin slash cook for yourself or anybody you want. Healthy edition. My husband has been recently wanting to eat healthier, which is fine by me because I, it's good for me. I need to eat healthier too. So I am making dinner for us tonight and I'm making a marinated chicken with zucchini, super healthy, not a lot of ingredients. I've laid them out here for what you need. I'll link the recipe below. You're gonna need chicken stock, onion powder, cumin, so a lot of spices, olive oil and red pepper, which is the key to, I think, eating healthy. Like not too much salt, but you get a lot of flavor from the spices. Oregano and paprika. Super easy. And then a little bit, well, I just love lemon, so I always juice extra, but I'm gonna do like half of this lemon juice and I'm gonna save the other half for later. And also super important when you're cooking, drink wine. A little bit of salt. I know I didn't want to do a lot of salt. Ah! And a little bit of pepper. Have as much pepper as you want. It does not make you fat, people. And salt doesn't make you fat either, honestly. It just sometimes can cause bloating, which means that you're retaining water. I don't know if you've ever had a Chinese meal or like Chinese food with a lot of soy sauce or Japanese with a lot of soy sauce and you just felt like super puffy the next day, it's definitely from the salt. So I'm just whisking that together for my marinade. And I like, you can keep your chicken like this, you can cut it in strips. I like to pound my chicken a little bit thin. So I'm just gonna go to town on this. Now I'm doing chicken breast which is a lot leaner and healthier than a chicken thigh. Um, so yeah. Okay, I just realized I didn't clarify. I'm doing this between two pieces of saran wrap, which you can do between, um, in a plastic baggie as well. I just realized that I forgot my garlic. Um, this recipe is heavy garlic, which I love. So I'm not mad at that. Um, let me just slide that baby over so I can mince this garlic really fast. That is also a key part of this recipe. You know what? I need to get in there. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. Mash the garlic, makes it easier to cut or to get the skin off. Some people go like this, but I've done that before where it slipped. And yeah, I almost shot my fingers off. So I just lightly press, very controlled. Um, I'm a lazy chef, which means I love kitchen ga gadgets. So voila, garlic mincer great tool. I literally will die for kitchen tools. They're the best, especially if you're cooking for more than a couple of people. Wow. Um, it's amazing. They make everything like lemon juicers, garlic press, even like onions, anything to chop, like perfectly chopped pieces of things. My husband always is like, do you seriously need this many gadgets? I'm like, yeah, as long as I'm cooking for you, you don't complain what I use to cook, all right? All right, enough said. Okay, so I have had this recipe, or a little more than half, because I have like a one and a half pounds of chicken and the recipe calls for three pounds, I believe, so. I think it's made for like four people cooking for two slash if I have leftovers. I'm not mad about it. Just whisk the garlic in. I said nothing can happen. Okay. 
Now you're gonna take that chicken that you just pounded. Usually I have music going and it's much more of a vibe. Okay, so this is no vibe because it's dead quiet for this vlog. Alrighty, take the second breast and flop it down and go to town. Also just makes it easier to cook. I find sometimes cooking ch chicken breasts on the stove takes her. And now I'm not pounding it as thin as like a milanese or something like that. It's just like three quarters of an inch thick. Like half an inch thick. All right, so now I gotta coat these babies with all of that yummy air I need. You just like let it soak in there. Oh my gosh, it smells unreal, guys. All right. All right. So, if you wanted to prep this overnight and let that sit overnight, it would be insane. Now, I don't think that far ahead, so it's gonna only sit for 30 minutes. What I'm gonna do, though, is cover it with saran wrap, which makes the mar it helps the marinade soak in. I'm actually gonna push it down so there's literally no air, which actually helps the marinade sink in more. Mmm, guys, I'm so excited to eat this. Voila. In the fridge. Now. This would be a great time for a wine break or, you know, feed your dog, hang out with your kids, call your boyfriend, see when he's gonna get home. You know, do whatever you gotta do. I'm actually in the meantime going to cook or chop the zucchini. You actually don't cook it until after you cook the chicken and all the juices and the spices go in that pan and then you throw the zucchini in. I'm just gonna chop it so I'm prepared. Always hold your knife, never from here. You don't have as much control. Thumb, finger, thumb and finger here, and then grip here. You have much more control for chopping. And if you are holding the handle, I just realized I did not chop that properly. I mean, I'm holding the knife properly, but the way I chopped that was not. There weren't smaller pieces than that. Okay, round two. Sometimes I always freak out when I'm chopping a zucchini because I'm like, oh my God, I bought a cucumber. Sometimes you just can't tell. Now, I don't mean to tell you like my knife skills, like, oh, this is how you should hold the knife, blah, 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 because I'm not a professional chef, but I did watch that on, um, I think it was World Chef in America, <laughs> the show. I remember them saying that. So by no means do you have to listen to me, but I know I'm cutting those wrong because I know you're supposed to do something like this. But I find that kind of scary. I always find like, I'm gonna cut my knuckles. Okay. I try to get them to be the same size. Obviously mine aren't perfectly the same size, but whatever. Johnny will survive. That's a beauty for cooking for like friends or family. It's like, no, I mean, maybe for you, friends is stressful. It can be if you have a lot of friends over, but cooking for family is like so chill because it's like, if it doesn't turn out great, they're still gonna love you, hopefully, right? Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt. I'll just a tad, get that like seasoning. I don't even think they tell you to do this in the recipe that inspired me, but I like to just kind of make up my own thing as I go. I always get an inspo recipe, like I'll look on Pinterest for recipes and then I take the base of that and I'm like, okay, what can I do? Do I wanna add, do I wanna switch the vegetables? Do I wanna switch the protein? Do I wanna make this into a pasta? Or do I wanna make this healthier? Do I wanna cut the butter or add butter? Blah, blah, blah. I like to just make it my own. So. Let this sit. I'll see you guys back here 
and 20 minutes after the chicken's marinated enough. Bye. Okay. The trendy outfit. So for here's. <laughs> it's a night in, all right? So here's, I got my chicken marinating. I'm gonna have to, I guess, cook one at a time because I don't know if they'll fit. We have more cast iron. Oh, they might fit. It might be a little crowded. That big old chicken. Well, I pounded it thin. You're probably gonna have to put that in the oven. No. Mm. I pounded it thin. All right. You're gonna save the remaining, you're gonna save the remaining juice. After you cook the chicken, you're gonna take it out of the skillet and that's what you're gonna put your zucchini in. Hey, you can't put that juice back on chicken. Yeah, because you'll recook it. Oh, you recook yeah, it? Yeah, you'll cook it on the zucchini. Oh. In the water in the skillet again. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give you salmonella. Okay, so, these have been cooking. And I'm gonna just take them off and all those yummy juices in there. I'm gonna leave those in there and I'm gonna then cook the zucchinis in that. I'll set these out. I'm gonna slice these up with a sharp knife um, and then add them back in at the very end just to reheat it so you're not eating cold chicken. In the meantime, I'm gonna add the zucchini in to the yummy, delicious chicken. Check out my shoes. <laughs> Stop. Chicken marinade. I was better off with this on a tripod. Let's just put it that way. Chicken marinated thing. We're gonna saute. Killer shoes. Shh. Can you stop? You're gonna saute the zucchinis for about three to five minutes, and then you're gonna add the sauce, the marinade in, and you're gonna cook that down. All the flavors. I'd like to point out that if you're not wearing the shoes, they probably won't taste as good. Well, you know, I cook with love, and I cook the best when I'm comfortable. So. Okay, so these have been sauteing down a little bit. I'm gonna add this marinade, which my husband seems to think he's gonna get salmonella, but I'm gonna cook it on high heat. 100% I'm getting salmonella. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated, you're not. I'm gonna cook this on high heat. The sauce heats up, no one's getting salmonella. Now, I have a clean knife. I'm gonna just, oops. I'm gonna rotate you're this. blocking my view. Sorry. I'm just gonna cut this into strips. Nice, juicy chicken. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've cut this into thin little strips. Easy to eat. And I'm gonna check over here on the zucchini. That sauce is definitely cooked. Add. Add more salmonella. <laughs> oh my god, a piece of chicken just fell down there. Save the chicken! Whew. Okay. Great. All right, you gotta do is toss it. You don't actually have to cut this up, you could just serve it like as a whole breast but I like to do that because I like the flavors to get all combined and to, it to be coated with that yumminess. Devin likes that yum, yum. And for good measure, because I love lemon. She's a sauce girl. Cleanses you. Check your sauce. Add a little bit more lemon for good measure. Devin's got the sauce. Voila, that is your healthy chicken recipe. I'll show you my plating, which is always terrible. To be honest, it's not my specialty. Really, it's not her specialty because she gets so excited to eat the food. That <laughs> she... <laughs> okay, guys, I do a little bit of salt for good measure because I'm a salt lover. Let's give it a try for some wine. By the way, we looked at the recipe, the original recipe that I based mine off of, and it said it was okay to add the chicken marinade. No one said they didn't get salmonella from it originally. <laughs> but 
But in the professional recipe, it said that it was okay. I looked it up, so. Here we go. It's good. Isn't it good? It's yummy, yum. Mmm. For a healthy, quick, easy dinner. Yeah, you or your family, or partner, or friend would love. What I recommend. Hope you like this Chef Dev special. If so, like and subscribe this video and my page so I know and I can do more Chef Dev uh, videos for you guys. Bye.